I was perfectly minding my own business, and then uh, Dave, uh, who is uh, one of uh, the people I who is uh, trying to uh, scare me and been cyberbullying me for uh, almost a year now, and just like a whole bunch of different reasons. Uh, because uh, one of my uh, people I contact uh, online, uh, he was being cyberbullied uh, by a guy named uh, Ben, a guy named uh, Alex, who uh, who now goes by the name Alicia, who is uh, apparently transgender. So yeah, and then there was uh, also another guy uh, named uh, Dave. Who also has a wife named uh, Avery, and uh, they're all online friends, uh, and they all like gaming and uh, cartoons and and live streaming, and uh, apparently they also uh, have been calling people claiming uh, People are pedophiles, and uh, when they actually aren't, and they have no valid evidence for it. And uh, I got attacked by uh, just because they defended one of the people I know online, just because uh, he got called a pedophile when uh, he actually isn't, and uh, it was just a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of false information. And they th they uh, made these claims that he uh, copyrighted. Uh, Stole someone's uh, content ID uh, without permission. Uh, when uh, actually that person, uh, he actually gave, gave uh, actual evidence that I did get actual permission from the person who originally made the content, and it just uh, had to switch uh, stuff and uh, switch it around, and the person was uh, fine with it. So. Uh, Ben, Alex, Alicia, and Dave have been cyberbullying me, uh, and even claiming me, claim that I'm a pedophile for uh, the past I forget, you know, the probably like almost ten months now, and uh, they were um, have been uh, bullying and harassing me on. Uh, Almost all every single social media account I have Facebook Instagram Twitter discord YouTube Especially Twitter and discord where and they had and to harass people uh, they use the discord uh, VC which uh, vi voice chat or video chat which where you can like talk to people like it's kind of like Apple FaceTime or like Facebook Messenger like uh, vid video chats through there and uh, they through there they have uh, picked on uh, people who they have claimed that they are those these people are pedophiles with they have no not given any uh, actual information at all and And uh, they will uh, harass uh, people in uh, in those the, these chats, and sometimes they will make uh, slander chats, where they will they will add the the victim in these chats, and they will harass the victim until the victim goes crazy and uh, have the uh, mental health problems. And uh, these uh, these uh, sick sickos actually tried that on me, and uh, they haven't uh, won against me. They have uh, every other victim. Uh, there are like at least six of them or more. They have they have lost to uh, Ben, Alex, and Dave, and their online friends. Uh. So apparently, uh, Dave, uh, who is uh, from New York State, and he has a wife uh, named Avery, and uh, they. They are also uh, friends with a whole bunch of other people, 
And he decided to make, try to uh, scare me with this uh, slander video and threatened uh, to come at me while he's on vacation in Ontario. Hello everyone here on YouTube. It is me, Spanish Giovanni, back here with another lovely little tale for you guys. So, you might be wondering, why am I outside and why am I down here by this lovely, lovely water? Well, I will get to that here in just a split second. This happens to be about our little boy, Smelly Kim. For those Ugh, of you that more know, slander. Smelly Kim has been talking an awful lot of shit about me lately. They've been who, uh, talking a lot of stuff uh, about me. Ben Alex and Dave, uh, who uh, tried to reveal uh, some people that uh, private information, their exact location. Mm. So, uh, that is a guy named, um, a 15-year-old, uh, named, uh, Alan, previous name Lucas, uh, McFall, he is, uh, he is a minor who is friends with them, uh, and, um, he also tried to cyberbully me as well, and, um, And apparently he's uh, friends with them and uh, also uh, online friends. And he also tried to use uh, his age against me just because I uh, ex exposed them for uh, cyberbullying me. Saying that this person works for me, that person works for me. Actually, yes, yeah, he does. Everyone and their brother knows I'm fully capable of doing stuff all on my own. Kimbo, if I wanted to fuck uh, with you, I could fuck with you by myself. I mm. Yeah, I'm I'm getting tired of like people trying to like come up with uh, stupid nicknames, uh, trying to insult me and that was the guy named that uh, Aaron Greenberg. I don't know where he lives, uh, but all I know is that he needs to be careful about uh, his weight. And yeah, he is a cyberbullion. Uh, also online friends with them and he has quite a bad attitude if you uh one of those people who will stick his middle finger up all the time and now uh, like a total oscar the grouch only worse i don't need anyone's help i don't need go get i don't need Futterio. i don't need ben mazda i don't need fucking cosmic i don't need anybody of the mm. well it's kind of interesting because he um and uh, all his uh, online buddies, uh, they always team up with each other. They make these Discord uh, channels and uh, Discord chats, slander chats, and they harass people for a living every single day. Otherwise, they, they're uh, doing gaming or whatever they do in uh, their daily lives, uh, otherwise shopping or... Uh, and yes, they use like uh, com like money websites, uh, send me money, buy me a coffee, that kind of those kind of websites. And pretty much destroying you. You see, I'm myself because well, you turned down my challenge of having it like fucking crazy because Avery decided to make a video on you scene. Which is completely funny in it in itself. I just I personally love it. He thinks uh, I'm the one who is crazy when yet he's the one uh, who was uh, doing the uh, attacking first. Uh, and uh, he's been saying a whole bunch of stuff about me in uh, these uh, Discord uh, slander chats when I've been ignoring everything because um, I'm trying to live my own life. I'm trying to like succeed and uh, well, a whole bunch of other uh, things that uh, feel that I'm trying to uh, I am in and uh, I have no time for uh, cyber bullies or having to fight back because they've been saying the same thing over and over and it's just troublesome now key thing look at the background here I've uh, seen uh, this place before.
it's none other than Algonquin uh, Provincial Park, one of the biggest uh, provincial parks in Ontario. I've been to Algonquin uh, Provincial Park uh, multiple times. Uh, it's uh, been uh, sort of like a Thanksgiving uh, thing. Head up north, go there. Quite quite worth the time. The view is uh great. And the fact that uh Dave and Avery are literally in Ontario just hours away from me, this is uh, very alarming because uh these people are uh these to are literally out there to hurt me physically in all means possible. So while they may have uh, lied about uh, to the people at the border crossing, I don't know how they uh, crossed over in the boarding. I don't know if they uh, went through uh, Queenston Lewiston or Fort Erie Buffalo or the Niagara Falls. Uh, that border or they took a flight from uh, JF, JFK airport to Pearson in Toronto because he literally uh, sent messages that he wanna me and Avery are going to come to Canada we are coming for you and uh, and while they said they were going on vacation, and while apparently they are on vacation, and they are literally trying to give me a freaking jump scare and uh, trying to uh, hurt me physically. So, if you see that guy, and uh, I'm sort of like a, also someone uh, his age uh, with a tan, her name's Avery, I don't know uh, their last names, uh, if you see them in uh, the Toronto area, that uh, the six districts of uh, Toronto, uh, Etobicoke, Scarborough, North York, East York, York, downtown, yeah. Or in uh, Durham region or Peel region Halton region, Niagara region, or any of the regions that are like literally next to these uh, regions or counties. Uh, if you spot them, especially if you're like, in Peterborough or Northumberland County, message me on Instagram right away on my this right away on public Instagram this this is like serious business uh, send me a photo when you lost out uh, on them just give me like street name or anything or town name city name because this is like really uh, scary because uh, these people those two have been cyberbullying me over from uh, New York City And now they have literally 
gone across the border and they're very close to me. This is a nightmare. So please let me know right away if you see them. Because there are like a couple of major uh, cities and towns uh, near there. And if you see them, if you live near them, well, if these uh, towns uh, like Bancroft or Peterborough. Or along uh, Highway 35 or Pony 6. On the way down to Peterborough or down the way to uh, Toronto or like Lindsay, that area. Let me know if you see them. Please message me. Because th these, these two are here to hurt me. They are like hitmen. They're trying to go Bonnie and Clyde on me. And I'm not joking. They literally have been cyberbullying me. So if you see them, send me a photo when you last saw them with the address. Just give me a street name or a town name or city name. That's all. Please let me know. Because Algonquin uh, Provincial Park is, isn't too far away from where I live and... Uh, And this is just get really uh, scary for me, and and I know that because I've been to Algonquin Park uh, so many times already, and uh, walking the trails and uh, going like along the beaches, uh, having the picnics and such, and the fact that they are like literally there, they are getting closer and closer and so please reach out to me please fast if you don't have Instagram just hit just send me an email titled urgent let me know this is like very serious stuff thank him signing out